Number one overall pick finally gets his first career start. And it happens in the last game of the season, and it happens against the Chargers team as we go into the playoffs. Say hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you on the last week of the season, at least regular season here on the NFL Previews presented by Comcast. And Pat, let's start with Jamarcus Russell sure. because he was the guy that he held out of camp, didn't sign until the season started, been slowly been brought along. He's going to get his first start. With what you've seen last week and the week before, last week got a lot of playing time against Jacksonville. What do you think? I think he's going to be a disaster. And I think he'll be fine. So Overall or in this, this game? This game. We're going okay. to start with this game. What happens next year will be different. Talk to Lane Kiffin about it. Lane was very open. First off, he rode home with him on the bus after the performance last week. That would be the three interceptions in 23 pass attempts. And Lane was open up, uh, talking to me. He said, look, I said, what did you talk to him about? He said, after I got done with the interceptions, I talked to him about not having the mesh point with the running game, not understanding how to hand off the ball, not setting in the right spot so we we're protecting. The guy's fundamentals need a lot of work. And Lane also said, and we covered all that this summer while he was holding out for more money, so no mince words from the head coach. He's going to put him on the field, but he's being real hard on him. And so then I said, is the kid sensitive? How's he going to hit? He goes, he's fine. The one thing I do love about Jamarcus, he's handling this pretty well. And he understood that's how I'm going to handle him. So I'm going to handle him the same way on the show. All right, well, as Not long, this week, Jamarcus. As long as you've got that taken care of. On the other side, you've got a, a San Diego team that's going to the playoffs. They win. They're the three seed. They lose. And Pittsburgh wins. And they're the four seed right. because of, uh, well, if they win, it's, if they, they both win, it's about the tiebreaker situation. They have it. Uh, they can be the three seed and they can get a home game. And then if they win that, they can avoid New England at least Correct. for one more week. And that's important. So they're going to go out there and play their starters, correct? They're going to play their starters. They're going to play now. It's challenging. How much do you play LaDainian Thompson? You get this game uh, under control early, which I suspect will happen. Remember, that San Diego secondary leads the NFL in interceptions. And look who's throwing. The kid who doesn't know where to throw the ball yet. So I can see Cromartie and the, and the guys getting two or three interceptions in the first half, converting those to points real quick, get a big lead, and now start to sit people down, realizing that the Raiders can't catch you. LaDainian Tomlinson has owned the Raiders. It's the number one team he runs the ball against. He averages 127 yards a game in 13 games against the Raiders. He's going to want to stay on there because while he's playing his game, Adrian Peterson will be playing a lousy Denver run defense looking for the rushing title. And his memory of Adrian Peterson is this. When he played San Diego, 296 yards rushing. So he's going to want to stay out there. It's going to be hard for North to keep him on the sideline. It will, but it'll also be, and remember, this is the same San Diego team last year that was 14-2 and in the regular season and lost their first Correct. playoff game. And because of it, Marty Schottenheimer was fired. So let's not forget, if they're the three seed, they avoid Jacksonville in the first round, and then they, if they get past the first round, which will either be Cleveland or yeah, Tennessee, it's, it's they avoid New England. If I'm, if I'm North Turner, I don't want to be the four seed. No, I want the three seed. But once you secure the game and you know you've got a 21-point lead in the, late in the third quarter, you got to really think about getting some of these guys out of here because how far are you going to go in the playoffs if Ladanian's nicked up or Gates is nicked up or even Chambers is nicked up? And also this, keep this in mind, Phillip Rivers is not 100% healthy. He's got a gimpy knee, and if you watch him closely, when he tries to avoid pressure, he struggles with that. So as tenacious as he is, he needs some rest too. All right, folks, let's throw everything into the computer 10,000 times. Here's what they've got for the AccuScore prediction. It depends, takes into account who's playing. doesn't make a difference. Computer 80% of the time just dominates the Raiders. The Chargers get the victory. Pat? I like this, and I like the way it's going to come out. Raiders are a team that scores 23 points a game on the road. They're playing the Raiders, who score 17 points at home. And now they're taking the quarterback, McCown, who's done most of that scoring or set up most of the scoring, and they're asking Russell. So I see their points dropping down into the 10 range yeah. and losing the game. I, I would agree. I think San Diego comes in, blows through, and then gets LaDainian Correct. rest in the second half. Folks, for more on this game or any other, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For NFL.com's Packer, when I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.